Okay, C's at Cleveland, 330 East at the Q. Cleveland open three and a half, now laying four and a half. Total open 219, bet up the 221 flat. Money line open a buck seventy, now a buck seventy-five for Cleveland. And at the moment, 53% of the handles shaded toward the thunder. Probably won't be enough to move the number anymore. I'd probably look for OKC to catch four and a half by tip-off. OKC's won their last three straight. Two of those games, they successfully covered the spread. Oklahoma City's also covering 75% of their games as the underdog. They're going up against a Cleveland squad who's 0-5 against the spread in their last five, 1-9 against the spread in their last 10, and 2-13 and covering in their last 15 games. Total-wise, 3-0 to the under in both teams' last three. Cleveland has given up, though, 113 points per contest in their last four. I think, personally, the under's a lock here, but the Cavs' defense says otherwise, so no play on the total here in this one for me. All said and done, though, I like the Thunder plus the points, so all told, I'm going to buy it up and take OKC plus 9.5 as the first pick in my two-team five-point teaser. Next game I have for you, it is going to be Chicago plus 2 at Atlanta. Total move upward to 215 flat. The Hawks are $1.25 on the money line. 61% of the handle is shaded towards Chicago. Both teams are 3-1 and one ATS in their last, uh, last four. Both teams also covering roughly 60% of their games overall, depending on where you're shopping at. 3-1 and one to the over for Chicago last four. 3-1 and one to the under for Atlanta last four themselves. Real tough one to call. No action for me on this one. Next game I have for you, it is going to be Miami. Catching four and a half at Charlotte. Totals move downward to an even, 205. Just 45% of the handle is shaded toward Miami. Both teams very good against the number three and one covering in their last four, respectively. Lots of overs in both teams' last five games. The markets are not expecting a lot of scoring in this one, though. All told, another real tough one to call. No action for me on this game. Next game I have for you. It is going to be Milwaukee plus six and a half at Philadelphia. Total bet down to 214 flat. Currently, the Sixers are laying 265 on the money line. And at the moment, 58% of the handles shaded toward the Bucks. Milwaukee's a perfect 4 0 covering in games that tipped off at the current point spread this year. Meanwhile, the Sixers are red hot as of late. 3 and 1 ATS last four, 7 and 2 covering in their last nine. Both teams covering machines in their own respect. A lot of unders for Milwaukee in the past two weeks. A lot of overs for Philly. Same time frame. No telling where this total will end up. All said and done, another real tough one to call. I think what I'm going to do is sit another one out and take no action on this game. But what I will do is slide into my next game, and it should be a good one. I'm talking about Golden State minus four at Houston. Total bet up to a massive, ridiculous 234 and a half. Have not seen a line that big since last year's NBA Finals. Wow. Currently, Golden State's $1.75 on the money line. Just 32% of the handles shaded toward the Rockets. When it comes to the spread, this series is all knotted up at one cover apiece. Golden State's won their last four straight. Houston's 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five. Both squads pretty hot in the past couple weeks or so. But total-wise... Both teams just 1-3 to the overs in their last four. But before you go to the counter and pound the under, just keep in mind both squads' last three games, respectively, had a posted total of 225 or higher. Excessively high totals creating a false sense of defense. I'd stay away from the total in this matchup if I were me. And as a matter of fact, both teams have been great against the number Tough to see either team fall short in this one. So once again, when it's all said and done, I'm going to exercise my right to pass and take no action on this game. What I will do is slide into another game, though. And that game is going to be Toronto, plus three and a half at Minnesota. Total move downward to 215 and a hook. Toronto, 73% covering this year as the underdog. Great covering team when catching points. Meanwhile, on the other side, 
Minnesota, 5-1 in their last six before last night's action. All were successful covers in those wins as well. 2-0 to the under in Minnesota's last two. Couple of overs on the Toronto side, though. No play on the total here for me. And with both teams doing so well against the number in several categories, this is going to be another one I want to stay away from. What I will do on this game is take a free pass. And I will slide into my next and final game for the show. That one is going to be Dallas at Portland. This is a game of interest for me. The Blazers open six, now five and a half. Total open 209, but up to 209 and a hook. Currently, the Blazers are the two to one favorites to win it. And at the moment, just 31% of the handle is shaded toward the Mavericks. But if you're looking to back the wagering unpopular in this one, keep in mind that this is a red hot Mavs team as of late. Dallas has gone three and one ATS in their last four, eight and three covering in their last 11. Dallas is also covering nearly 80% of their games that tipped off at the current point spread. They're going up against a Portland squad who's just awful covering at home. The Trail Blazers have covered a measly 6 of 22 on their home court. And even worse than that, this Portland team has covered a pitiful 3 of 18 as the official home favorite. Now scoring-wise, 3-1 to the over for Portland last four. 3-1 to the under Dallas last four. No play on the total here for me. But I am liking the visitors plus the points. So all told, I'm going to buy it up and take Dallas plus 10.5 as the second pick of my two-teamer. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me for Brock Page Productions. I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.